I love Lua, but it is annoying that you can't do plus plus or minus minus or divide by equals, especially if you've got like a really long variable name. It's just a headache to type that all the way out again. And I looked this up. The reason why you can't do this is because Lua is basically a language where they wanted to restrict things as much as possible so that the compiler would be super optimized. And they did a great job. It's like a very fast language for how high level it is. It's actually like a lot more difficult than you would think to define the plus equals operator because you have to evaluate something on one side of the equal sign like all the way down. I don't know, the technical details like I didn't really get that deep into, but it's just a lot harder than you would think. There's different adapters for Lua, like MoonScript, that kind of like, they're, they're like CoffeeScript is to JavaScript, but that's just like a whole headache and I don't wanna deal with that. I just care about the ergonomic issue. Luckily, I use Vim and I know the Lua Snip plugin and I know some regex. So this is a pretty easy problem to fix. Here's a, just a demonstration of what this would look like. So if I wanna do plus plus, I can just type plus plus and it expands like that. Same with if I wanna do minus minus, and then same with like any kind of operator, like all as an example, I'll do divide by equals. And you can see that it'll insert the whole name, divide by it, and then I could just start typing zero. So that makes it perform basically exactly like Python. I don't have to deal with any weird language adapters. It's just, it's a simple fix, um, but it's it's just, it's the best thing I came up with. So I'll walk you through how I did it. Lua Snip is a plugin that allows you to define very complex snippets. These are kind of simple, but you can get crazy because you can use regex triggers. So this is the Lua file. You define them on a per file basis. You can see I have them for a bunch of different languages. And you have to type auto snippet, or you have to configure them as auto snippets reg trig as true. And word trig is false. That's just so that you don't accidentally trigger it when you're typing a word. Not really a problem with these symbols, but I did it just in case. So the way this works is you've got these blocks and you can see it's you can kind of see like the skeleton of what this will look like it's like a blank equals blank 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 and those are all filled in by the snippet captures and the snippet captures up here are just these little regex in parentheses and they're kind of a custom lua regex which is a little different than standard regex but it's not that hard so it'll tell you what it's looking for is an equal sign uh, preceded by and then in parentheses tells you it's a regex capture and then the square brackets tell you any of these symbols. It's like a custom alphabet. So it's saying it's looking for either minus plus times or divide by and then an equal. And then you can see that will capture it at index of three and insert it in there. So I don't have to define four different snippets. I can just do one like this and it'll capture any of those. And then right here is another thing. It's um, a this, this percent sign is escaping in regex and it's saying space. And then there's a question mark, which is saying put a space or not. And the reason for that is basically if we have something, I can do space plus equals, or I can just do like the thing and then plus equals, and then it'll trigger either way. So space or no space, because sometimes I, I hit it and sometimes I don't. That's just a nice little addition, but that's not captured because it's kind of irrelevant. It's just a space. And then the first one, this is like a little bit convoluted. The reason for this, it basically is saying, here's an alphabet. I want you to capture as many things that are not spaces. This is like the whole, the whole thing before. So this is like the variable. The reason for not capturing spaces specifically is because if it's like indented, I still want it to work normally. So you can see it'll be like that. This is just saying capture everything that isn't a space. This little thing negates. And then the plus is like, is is this more than one times? One or more times, any number of times. So that'll take the first thing, insert it in there. So it'll insert the variable name, an equal sign, a space on either side, and then insert it again, and then insert the symbol, like plus equals or whatever. And then the last one is just I, which is an insert node, which just says, put me into insert mode. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And then there is this one, which is for plus plus. And you can see pretty similar form, except it's just got a one on the end instead of like another capture. So it's saying capture anything that isn't a space, one or more of them. You can put a space after that or not. And then this, maybe someone in the comments is like better at regex than me. This is what I came up with. It's like plus or minus or plus or minus. 
and then depending on what the first one is just insert that in twice so that that could give you weird behavior like if i had a variable like that and i type minus oops minus plus star minus plus like it'll still it'll just do the first one but that's not a huge deal because i don't know that's that's it doesn't bother me um and then i guess i just have this random extra one that i was just messing around with let's see what does this even do oh it's just a for loop so capture just any number of digits and it's not an auto snippet i forgot about this one but here's just a bonus snippet for you. So if I type 10 and then control E for expand, it'll insert a for loop for me. That's pretty cool. But yeah, basically the point is you can have these snippets, but a lot of people don't use them to their full potential because they're not using regex. And regex allows you to just capture like a lot more dynamic situations.